In this video, I'm going to explain aggregate stability, show you a simple test for measuring it, and then I'm going to explain what it means and how you can improve the stability of your soil. So what is aggregate stability? Aggregate stability is a measure of how well the structure maintains itself when external forces such as wind, water, and you digging act on it. It can be measured easily by doing an aggregate stability test. And here's what you need to carry out the test. You're going to need some kind of container that's at least five inches high. I have a nice square one here that's great for doing the video, but yours can be round. It works just as well. And the opening should be large enough to put your fist in. You'll also need a little wire basket, and you can make that easily from some wire mesh. Now the ideal mesh is quarter inch mesh. Just cut it into a little strip like this and form the basket. Now I didn't have any of that, so what I decided to use is some old chicken wire. And I just folded it over to make a couple layers. And that works well too. You can see that it still has lots of large openings. And that's what you want to do the test. You'll also need some water. And you'll need a soil sample. Go in your garden and get a clump of soil that's about the size of a golf ball. Take that and let it dry for 48 hours. We want this soil to be good and dry before we do the test. That's really all you need. So let's get going with the test. To start the test, take your clump of soil and gently place it in the basket and start your timer. The water will rush into the pores and as they rush in, they actually create quite strong forces on the soil, trying to break it apart. It's these forces that we're trying to measure. Are they strong enough to break apart the clump of soil quickly? Or is the soil stable enough that it resists these forces and stays as a nice tight clump? What we're watching here is to see how quickly that clump of soil disintegrates. You'll notice that some of the loose stuff around the outside has started to fall off. And that's okay. A clump of soil will always have some loose stuff. What we're really interested in is the core of the clump of soil. How quickly does it fall apart? What do the results of this test mean? If your clump of soil disintegrated and fell apart in less than a minute, you have poor soil stability. If it took anywhere from one to five minutes to fall apart, you have fairly good stability. Anything more than five minutes indicates great soil stability. What do these numbers really mean? Well, high stability translates into better infiltration. That means that when it rains or you water, the water flows into the soil much more quickly. It also means that your soil has large pores and a large number of pores. And that makes it very easy for roots to grow. So plants grow better in soil with higher stability. High stability also means that your soil is more resistant to erosion, both from water and from air. So how do you improve your soil stability? Well, the secret is organic matter. Add organic matter to the soil. That increases the biological activity in the soil, particularly the activity of fungal growth. The fungal hyphae is what knits all of this soil together into a strong aggregate. More organic matter gives you higher biological activity, which results in more stable aggregates. This test tells you a lot about the soil in your garden, and I hope you carry it out. Let me know your findings in the comments below. If you believe that soil is important for growing great plants, you'll love my book called Soil Science for Gardeners. In it I discuss all aspects of soil, including its chemical and physical characteristics, the importance of bacteria and fungi, and the impact that the rhizosphere has on plant health. I'll help you evaluate your soil to identify any problems and provide solutions to solve them. Learn about drainage, compaction, aggregation, and the right level of organic matter. In the process, I'll debunk a number of soil myths so you don't harm your soil. Soil Science for Gardeners even includes a personalized soil assessment and improvement plan. Before you buy any more products to fertilize or improve your soil, 
You owe it to yourself to read this book. Knowing the right things to do in the garden can save you hundreds of dollars. To find out more, click on the image of the book.